For those of you who are taking Teaching Workshop 2, I wanted to spend a few minutes here today talking about the process that I would follow in creating your lesson plans for each of the input sessions. Okay, so the first thing I would decide on is whether or not you want to use RemNote, create a document in RemNote and share that with me, or if you want to create a Word document in OneDrive. If you want to use OneDrive, then I would make sure that you are using your the institutional Edu account in Microsoft uh, so that you can easily share documents with me. So as you are creating your document, I would suggest that you take a look at this page called Begin Planning Your Lessons. And as you're developing your lesson plan, if you have questions, if you want to receive feedback from me, then simply share the link to the document in RemNote or the Word document in OneDrive via chat in Microsoft Teams. Okay, so just send me the link. I'll be happy to go in and take a look at it and give you feedback. If you want to have a discussion, we can certainly schedule time to do that, whether it's online, in my office, or in, uh, in the classroom. So once you have completed your lesson plan, the next step then is to upload the PDF. I would convert the, plan, the final draft to a PDF file and upload it to Teams. Try to uh, make sure, in fact, that you are uploading your completed lesson plan at least two days before your lesson is scheduled, uh, the two days before you're scheduled to give your lesson. All right, then you'll give your lesson, and then immediately we'll have a feedback session the same day in the classroom, and uh, we will uh, provide you feedback based on your, your performance. Once we've completed the feedback session, within 24 hours, please upload your reflection. Okay, so based on our feedback, based on our conversations, based on comments made by your classmates, you can include that in your reflection. And you need to provide two reflections. You'll have a reflection of your own class, and you will also have a reflection as an observer of one of your classmates. Make sure to include the reflection and the corresponding lesson plan. So in, in your case, you'll have your lesson plan. At the very bottom, you'll have your reflection. In the case of your classmate, uh, you as the observer, will go in to the lesson plan of your classmate and offer a reflection. So I would share the your lesson plans with your classmates so that if you're observing one of your classmates, you can easily go into his or her Word document or Rem, uh, Rem note document, go in and add at the bottom your reflection of their lesson plan. So again, Please include the reflections at the very bottom of each of the corresponding lesson plans. All right, so the reflections, the two reflections, need to be uploaded to the virtual classroom. Now, this might be a little bit different than what we talked about in class. Um, I'm not going to require that the reflections be uploaded to Teams. Okay, so Microsoft Teams, we're going to have the lesson plans but the actual reflections that go with the lesson plans, I'm going to ask that you simply upload those to the virtual classroom. So there's really going to be no need to upload twice to Teams or the virtual classroom. Okay, The lesson plans can be simply uploaded to Teams only, along with any other documents related to the lesson, materials, worksheets, and so on. And then the reflections, the two reflections, I'm going to ask that you upload only to the virtual classroom. So the virtual classroom, you're, you're going to have assignments, and you'll just simply go to the assignments and, and upload the two reflections to the assignment, to the corresponding assignment for that particular input session or for that particular week. Okay, so this is, I think, a little bit different than what we talked about in class, uploading twice. Uh, and this is one of the reasons why I wanted to make this video is to clarify that, again, I'm only going to ask that you upload once to Teams, that is the lesson plan, and once you have your two reflections, upload both reflections only to the virtual classroom. This will be at the end. This will be after, of course, after the lessons have been given. Okay, so I hope this clarifies. I'm going to input this video within this protocol procedure here in this page. 
refer to this uh, maybe the first couple of times. If you do have questions, of course, we can clarify that in class. Um, but this, uh, these are the steps that I would follow each, each week or during each cycle of the input sessions that we're going to have throughout the semester.